right now let's add some front end modules we're going to add the cart button at this very top section so when someone is purchasing something when they add something that cart it shows up here we're also going to add the category on this right column as well as the search on the right column as well so let's go ahead and just remove the latest articles we're going to leave the login because people need to be able to log in and check their account so let's first start off by add, um, adding the cart select type and you want to locate eShop cart alright so click on it Uh, for the title you can leave that as it is or you can change that to just cart but I'm just going to change that to cart and for where it says position now module positions let you know exactly where things are located and to be able to determine the module position for each template you have to go through it looks something like this this is what the module positions look like you see where it says position 0, position 7, position banner 8, and so on and so forth. This lets you know where on this uh, particular template that you can be able to put stuff. So the way that you find this, or the way that you get to this page, you go, you go to extensions, template manager. And if you don't have these this, um, enabled, you want to click on Options. And once you click on Options, where it says, you should currently say Disable, you want to click on Enable. Once you're done, click Save and Close. And then you should have this little eye. So once you click on it, it brings you to this page so you can see where module positions are so now that we know the module positions let's add the cart right up on this module position zero so I'll pull it up here and position I can just scroll down or I can also type it in but I'm just going to scroll down so position zero and then status is on publish make this publish and then menu assignment you want to make sure that all on all pages um, selected. Now, one of the great things too about CMS like Joomla is that you can be able to designate where on the page that you want certain items to show. So, if you don't want this to show up on the entire website, you can select only the selected pages. And from this point, you can be able to uncheck and check the pages that you want this to show on. But since this is a university thing, we need to make sure it shows up on all pages on the entire website. So, once you've selected that, then you want to click on save and close so now when you come on the home page and you refresh it you have the shopping cart right up there at the top so every time someone adds a new product it's going to show them items to have and that they total and they can be able to you know see what they have there so now let's work on this other part all right, so save and close. Next, let's take a look at the categories. So you want to scroll down to select type, and you want to go to eShop category. We're going to put all the categories in the right column as well. So click on eShop category. I'm going to change that to products category. So first thing you want to make sure is uh, published and then you want to position 7 which is right up here. Okay. 
so now you want to make sure the menu assignment is again on all pages and you want to show subcategories at the moment we just looked at to know so let's click save first and see what that looks like okay so now you have the products category all the products category in the right column here and you have to log in so what we want to do is we want to remove this latest article and we'll probably replace that with uh, product search so save and close alright so next let's take a look at the shop search Product search. Now, if you wanted to search a particular category, you can select that from here. So you click. Make sure that you check all of them. So that one is searching and searching every one of them. So you click on there and just click on the item. And what happens is that when someone's searching for something, it's going to search the entire website. But you can also designate this if you wanted to search just a particular category. All right, so it has all that there. You want to make sure that the status is published. And then position is zero. I'm sorry, position seven, which is the custom position. Menu assignment on all pages. And let's take a look and see what that looks like. So save. Right, it should be somewhere here. All right. Okay. So you see, right now it's a product search, but it's just a little bit too long to fill. So we need to fix that. So we come back here. So where it says the search with, you want to change this. Right now it's 270. Let's change this to 250 and see how that looks. Alright, I didn't change it that much. Let's change it again. Alright, so we'll put that product search in there. Save and close. Now let's take off this latest article. So I'm just going to copy it. I'm not going to just paste it in here and just look for it. So paste, search. And that's another way too for you to be able to find out where things are located. So here it is. I'm just going to click on that to, un to disable it. So now when I come on the home page and I write, when I reload it, you have just the products category. So what we want to do is we want to reorganize this so that the login form is at the top. So to do that, click the X clear. And 
You want to go to positions, position seven. This will pull up all the current items on that position. And at this point, all you have to do is click on that. Once you click on this top here, it allows you to move the module positions to wherever you want them to be. So we want the prod the login form. We're just going to slide that up to the very top. And next one, categories. So we move that up next to that. And then at the bottom, they want product search. Okay, so we'll have that now and let's go on the home page and see how that looks. Alright, so we've reorganized it to have so it comes out in this format with the search at the bottom, the categories next and the login form at the very top.